Hello everybody, welcome to Badminton Racket Review. Today we are testing a Kampu Racket. This is the <clears throat> Power Control Nano A291L Badminton Racket and let's go through these racket specs. So the weight of this racket is 59, 59 plus or minus one gram. I don't think I've ever come across a 59 gram racket. I mean, even the weight class of that is bonkers. I have to check what weight class that even falls into. Um, balance is 335, so majorly towards the head, and that is for obvious reasons. Now, just think about it yourself. You've got a super light structure. To get anything out of this, you're going to have to put a lot of weight towards the head of the racket, and the stiffness is 8.5 to 0.1 and it feels pretty stiff to me and again that makes sense given the weight of the racket to have a stiff shaft. So it says here it's a 9U, I think this is the only 9U test we've ever done and in actual fact, I can't verify this but surely this has to be one of the lightest rackets if not the lightest racket in the world and you have to, <laughs> you have to feel but this is a featherweight, it literally is a featherweight. Despite that, the maximum string tension is 26 pounds. That's astonishing engineering, if that's true. That's astonishing by Kampu, actually. When you think about the fact that big manufacturers out there produce 4U and 3U rackets with a maximum of 22 pounds, 24 pounds, and they can produce a 9U racket and still give it a maximum 26 pounds tension. Hats off to Kampu, well done. Right. Um, onto the design of the racket. Actually, this is quite, the shaft is fairly basic. Uh, it says it's a 6.5 extra slim shaft, so you can see there it's very, very thin. Uh, the design of the racket is not bad. The paint job is good. The print is reasonable, I would say. Good detail on the head, nice design around the head here. Take a look at this close-up video, see what you think of yourself. Okay, so how do you think this racket feels? Do I even need to tell you how this racket feels? It, <laughs> it feels like there's nothing in my hand. That's how it feels. It feels super, super light. Uh, we, we felt it had reasonable repulsion when we were testing it, but if you want something that is just, you can use it with your fingers, then I don't think that's gonna get, it's gonna get any better than this. Uh, that is super duper light. The price of one of these is 89, so 80 to 90 pounds in the UK. We can help supply Kampu in the UK. We also do try to help with other manufacturers like Mizuno, Kawasaki and Goosen. We have no endorsement, sponsorship or any connection to these companies, um, but we do, uh, we can help you with supply, but you just can't get them at all in the UK or in Europe, maybe in Europe, but definitely not in the UK. Um, they are very, very popular in, in China and other parts of Asia. Check the price out to you locally. The price I'm quoting is accurate at the point of making this video today. So the big test for this has got to be the weight test. Let's put it on the scales and see how much it weighs. And don't forget, this is unique because they have sent this to us uh, with just a bit of plastic. I don't know if you can see that and it's got carbon handle written on it, but there is no grip. So there's no grip on this racket. Bear this in mind. This is rare for us to do this. We never alter the grips when we get them. We just measure them. We weigh them with whatever we're sent. So this has no grip right now, but it does have the strings in place. So we've got the strings here, uh, 25 pounds tension with all our rackets, 0.69 mil gauge. Let's see how much it weighs. Sixty one point two that's that's bonkers. That is bonkers. I mean if you look at the independent weight video on this YouTube channel, I can't remember from the top of my head, but I think a lightweight grip is like seven or eight grams and a PU grip by caracal is like seventeen grams. 
even if you add that in that is still crazy light crazy crazy light astonishing anyway I'll get over my uh, shock at the weight of this racket it's amazing right now we're going to do a smash test let's see how good this racket is at smashing the shuttle So that's one test completed. Next test is going to be the maneuver test, which basically measures the airspeed of this racket. Okay, that's another test done. Don't forget the smash and manoeuvre test are measured in kilometres per hour on our website. We also use that score to convert, uh, sorry, that, that, that uh, kilometres per hour reading to convert into a score for the racket. The last test for today is the control test where we see how good this racket is at controlling the shuttlecock. Okay, so those tests are complete. Don't forget, smash and maneuver all measured in kilometers per hour. Uh, all aspects of the racket are independently tested by us. Uh, the website makes it very simple for people to compare racket to racket. You can uh, search by per any parameter of the racket, pretty much any important parameter of the racket anyway. Uh, and plus you have our top 10 segments to choose from on the website. So please go on, show your support, go to www.badmintonracketreview.co.uk or .com and also please do subscribe to our YouTube channel here. We are here for you. We are here to save you money, to make you help you make the right choice with your racket, to help you enjoy the game further and to try and avoid um, further irritating any injuries you may have or avoiding injuries you know because people you know with tired muscles they're gone with a super heavy super stiff super head heavy all singing all dancing racket and they come off and they're like oh my you know my shoulders twinging a little bit and that's a stacking with a start or something that turns into something major later you can avoid all of that by using our guides on this youtube channel and using our website thanks for tuning in today it's been our pleasure see you on the next video